Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Simon and we are the Wales of Wall Street. Just a very quick roundup on a few bits of articles scattered around about crypto and banking in general. Uh, so without further ado, let's go straight into this. So the first article today um, is basically around, uh, I think I did a video a couple of days, uh, sorry, a few weeks back of um, Sunak, our finance chancellor here in the UK. Um, creating a potential task force to look at CBDCs for the UK government and you know, UK public uh, for future finance um, solution. And uh, more and more of this has come out recently in, in the last few days of, of this kind of development and where we are with this and, and how they progress the, the thought process behind it. Um, I thought it was quite funny, this, this article in particular for the Express, because they've done a little vote thing here. Uh, obviously, I don't know how many exactly have voted. Uh, Sunak plans to replace cash with official digital currency. Do you agree? Or are you asking the question about is he going to replace it? Or are you asking is it a good idea or not? Well, either way, uh, there's not many fans of crypto and CBDCs here. So 84% saying no. Uh, I was saying yes, obviously. Um, of course I would. But uh, yeah, this is obviously... Um, you know some positive aspects in the sense that obviously all the governments across the world are trying to force through CBDCs uh, to make it more economical, faster, cheaper. Um, so you know there's loads of positives for this, and of, of course there's gonna be a bit of a backlash and people concerned that they might lose their existing uh, fiat systems and things like this. But the argument now is that. Um, whether you like crypto or not, it is improving the existing infrastructures like Swift, etc., um, and also things like blockchain technology to improve things further on, not just in finance, but other aspects of, of life as well. So let's keep an eye on this, as I said in the previous videos, and today, of course, I'll keep you updated as we go along with the developments of CBDCs, in particular in the UK government here, um, as we go along. Uh, second bit of news, uh, which is fantastic uh, from my side in terms of you know being an XDC holder, uh, R3 winning a award recently, uh, best use of blockchain technology uh, via the FinTech Awards here in the UK. So that's fantastic news for them. Uh, congratulations. So R3 and Corda, uh, very exceptional hybrid blockchain technology. Check out the previous videos I've done on that. I will add them to the end of this video. But I thought I'd throw that into the equation uh, in the sense of this great news coming out of, of them winning. A few other uh, pieces here of Tide um, and there's a couple of other ones that are, are well known, of course, like with um, uh, Sterling, sorry, Starling uh, Bank. So there's lots of good news around crypto and fintech opening more and more up to giving awards to the crypto and blockchain elements. But for me, the big winner here today for me was... Uh, R3 for sure. Um, so that's great news for XDC and I'm pretty sure as well uh, while we've seen XDC do a bit of a growth spurt in the last couple of days as well. Um, and a couple of last bits and pieces of information just coming out of the UK, uh, particularly today as well. Uh, random update here of Tesco closing down uh, all the current accounts uh, by November this year. So um, yes, Tesco do have a, a banking um, arm to themselves. So Tesco, for those that don't know, is a big supermarket chain they do open up to other services as well over the last few years or last decade or so uh, but yeah over 213,000 existing current accounts will be due to close on the 30th November so it doesn't affect like credit cards or anything like that but I just thought I'd throw that out there if you are a Tesco customer to be aware of that in general I'm sure you've heard already but you know I find it interesting with the deadlines of November and this ties in a lot with CBDC conversations and things like that and banks falling apart at the moment uh, closing down etc you know it's clear to me more and more banks are going down this route of closures and becoming more digital approach but in my opinion they're all scared crypto is coming the exchanges will be the new banks telling you now so this is uh, very interesting and of course there's loads of banks out there with all these incentives now of coming over or switching banks you get money i think this is like a hidden system an incentive system to keep people with free money and create a mini stimulus kind of thing that's my skepticism coming out there but it's, it's very convenient very convenient timing indeed um, but let's see how this all goes and, and perhaps some more information as to why 
um, and when I find that out I'll, I'll pass that on to you. And that kind of leads on nicely to my last piece of information for this roundup um, is ATMs. So globally uh, there's a massive increase in um, crypto ATMs worldwide. Uh, in particular a spike of 71% this year uh, based on last year. So that's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I will do a video on this in particular, this particular topic later on this week um, in terms of the crypto ATMs, how you can use them, why you would use them um, and you know what, what's the sort of take at the moment in all these different countries, how they're finding them, uh, they find them easy, or they, is it still quite new, is it creating awareness in the high streets etc as well. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting. I think average here, 52.3 ATMs per day are being opened for crypto, which is really, really positive news for the market um, and the crypto space in general. So this is an article by Cointelegraph. Um, let me just remove myself so that uh, we don't have this silly thing in the way. Here we go. Um, so yeah, this is Crypto Telegraph um, just announcing uh, uh, this piece of news in particular. So there's lots of cryptocurrencies, over 30 types can be used um, across the board. America are leading the way apparently in terms of the amount of ATMs that have been uh, installed to the general public. So I'm sure this is something we'll see more and more, particularly in travel destinations perhaps, like airports and train stations. Uh, I think that's one of the main sort of key features. And I'm pretty sure we'll see an increase as well in payment systems as well. I mentioned in a video the other day about like World Pay, for example, from Fizz. Um, we've just mentioned a couple in terms of the winners and stuff here uh, in some of the awards recently. Um, you know, good financial institutions here that are looking to provide more and more fintech crypto solutions for general public as well as enterprise. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated on this and I will, like I said, do a video on the crypto ATMs, how they work, uh, why they're so interesting. Um, and where we see it going in the, in the next sort of five to ten years um, and, and where they'll be placed. So I thought I'd do a quick roundup of a few bits of pieces of information across the crypto space. Uh, I hope you found this relatively informative. Please do uh, like and subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out. And please do leave comments as and when you can. Uh, we always like to reply to them as soon as we can to and get you guys more and more involved and more engaged in the channel and with ourselves. Other than that, guys, I hope to see you in the next video and see you guys on the moon with all our funky crypto assets. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care.